now we'll give an example about resolving conflict. I have another machine here for another user who will gonna work with me on the project. So first I will map the project on source control to his local drive. I will his name is Abu Obaida. So I will put the project in Abu Obaida projects. A map and does me need to get latest after the mapping and I will create the development branch and say get latest. So now everything's up to date. Me and him have the same project. I will start now to get the solution and the project. After getting the latest I open the solution now. I will open the form. And as you can see, we both have the three buttons and the text box. So now back to my machine. I will now try to write code in bottom one. And as you can see, by just double clicking on the form, the file has been checked out automatically. So I will write piece of code here. When I click on this button, the text should be equal to the text of the button itself. I'm gonna check in this change. Associate with the work item, task. Check in the code, click yes. And now checked in. Now I'll go to the other machine to get the latest. I'll right click on the project and click on get latest version. And now if I open the code of form1.cs, I will find the code that I have written in the other machine. Here, up text equal number one to text. Now, on the Apple uh, Python machine, I will write code for button two. So now, the project here has been checked out for Apple Vida, and he will write his piece of code for button two. And now we're gonna check in the changes. Right click on form one cs and check in. Click yes. Associate with the work item. I will get the query situation backlog and select the task and associate. Now check in and it's done. Now back to the first machine. This time I won't get latest, but I will just work directly on button 3. As you can see here, I only have the code of, of button 1. So now I implement button 3 and let's see what will happen. Writing the code, button 3. Now I'm gonna change, check in the code. Yes, associate with the work item. Now I've done the button 3. Associate, check in. Uh, now it tells me there is a conflict between changes. So we must resolve this conflict. This conflict is between the, uh, the change set that had me, has been done by Abu Baida and my change set. So I will click on the merge tool. Now this will show me my file and the file on the server that was checked in by our writer. If it was inserted text, it will be in green. If it's changed text, it will be in blue. And the delete text will be in red. 
So now I need to have button 2 and button 3 in my local file to be able to check in. So I have clicked on both of them by holding control on the keyboard. So now my file will be like this in the lower panel having button 1, 2, 3 in the code itself. Now I will reload from 1 to TS with the new changes. As you can see here, I have form button 2 and 3. Now we'll check in. Associate with task, it's already done. And check in. There's another amazing feature called annotate. You go to source control explorer, right click form.cs, and annotate. You will see here each line of code and beside it the date it was written in and who did write this piece of code. This is very helpful if you want to know who changed the file that you are working in it now.